Science for her is a female science textbook. Um, I just always found that women's brains are too small to understand most, if not all, scientific topics. And um, women's hands are just too small and weak to turn the pages of most regular men's textbooks. Uh, so I've made a little Ms. size uh, textbook here. Um, so no plus sizes allowed. Um, <laughs> your hands are too fat to turn the pages. They are very thin, so there is sort of a weight cut off for this book. It's really funny and Thank it's you. really smart. And some of the highlights for me, I think, is the notion, and it's something I really never thought of, but I think it's actually true, that in time, Women will, evolution, with evolution, yep. women will no longer have a bush. Yep. In the biology chapter, I do go into evolution, and um, as many you ladies know, there has been a lot of evolution in the bush uh, over the past few decades. Um, so we started out, I mean, hundreds of years ago, there's a medieval bush. You'd find mutton chops in that. Uh, and then it sort of paired away due to natural selection uh, to be some more of just it. cuteness. Yeah, and just it's just cute. Uh, you get me, babe. <laughs> um, and so now it's like we're down to either basically nothing or like full Game of Thrones bush. Children are starting to get mumps, measles, and other diseases. Fat. Yes. See, um, I love the fact that, that, that Jenny McCarthy is responsible for children yeah. getting horrible diseases. Well, it's very interesting. <laughs> um, she definitely is. I'll just say that straight away. It's so satisfying um, for some reason. Jenny McCarthy is so interesting because what she teaches ladies, she is a very important teacher, but what she teaches you is that if you're hot enough, you can literally say whatever you want and people yeah. will believe you. If so, you've been a nude model in Yeah, particular. I mean, she looks good, babe. She's like very old she's and she still looks really good. Super hot. Um, and so scientifically, maybe you should get vaccines, but honestly, that's not the takeaway from this. The takeaway... <laughs> is that keep it tight and you can say whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, Xander is my ex-boyfriend. Um, I basically wrote the book because he broke up with me because I didn't know enough science. Um, I was working uh, at a chapter of NASA and had completely lied about my resume to get the job. I just thought it would be fun because they have like fun snacks there. <laughs> they have like astronaut ice cream. Um, and he just thought that that was like really inappropriate of me to lie that I knew any science and get a job. So he broke up with me and um, this book in a lot of ways was to win him back at first, but through science, I found myself. Um, so Xander, if you're out there, fuck you, but also I'll take you back. <laughs> well, and it is, as, as you say a few times during the book, it's very, it is very fun and flirty. Fun and flirty, I just find so many things in day-to-day -day life fun and flirty. I find my best friends, like you, fun and flirty. I find like a cute cloud, fun and flirty. <laughs> Like, maybe like um, a baby duck. Like, definitely fun and flirty. So that's just the best way to describe almost anything. Yeah. My first episode of Parks and Rec was called Ron and Diane, which um, was uh, Nick Offerman's character, Ron, was at a woodworking convention with his new girlfriend, and things are going really well. And then Tammy, too, shows up and tries to really just ruin everything. Um, I'm trying to remember. A I, is that the episode where I try to get? It was, he's he's accepting an award. Yes. And I I'm in the front row and I um, try to get his attention <laughs> by it's sitting like this thing in a short skirt. I've ever and seen. He, yeah. There also was a thing that you did that was just improv where you picked oh, up I a see. dinner roll at. <laughs> she's making some euphemism that just is like dirty anyway. But she picked up a dinner roll and just stuck her finger in it. <laughs> And like rolled it around in the dinner roll, and I you like probably twisted could, it around. Yeah, it's so gross. <laughs> Tammy too is so. I can't gross. believe they kept that in. So this book is really just like following through every crazy line of thinking that I've ever heard from uh, public figures um, or just people I know, even just down to like boys will be boys to explain. Um, 
insidious sexism, I think. So uh, as I wrote it, I got more and more angry, which I think is a good sign. I think the more and more I like read magazines where I thought that there were like sexist undertones or just read more about things going on, going on in the world, it just made me more and more like heated up. So hopefully that comes across, just true rage. <laughs>